Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, uh, we are going to take a look at setting your own personal uh, watch list on the Weibo platform. So uh, for those of you guys that have been following the channel, you know that I do use the Weibo Top Gainer list uh, as part of my um, list of socks that I select for the day to trade. Uh, but in addition to that, I also have my own personal screeners that I've actually set so that um, I don't only depend on Weibo because that can that can lead you down a rabbit hole if you don't have any stocks that are, um, really can give you some of the trades. So I have my own screeners that I've actually set. So I want to show you guys how to do that because that's a question that uh, a lot of you guys do ask um, on, on you know, the Discord server. Hey, how do I set my own uh, screen? So I want to do that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to setting your own screen, guys, um, there's certain things that you're looking for. Uh, as a trader, you could be somebody that trades maybe um, big stocks. So when I say big in terms of price, um, you'd probably, um, you know, you're probably trading stocks that are $50, $100 or $200 um, in price if you have the liquidity to do that. Um, other people trade that other people do trade penny stocks. Um, again, penny stocks is anything under $10. So if you are somebody that trades penny stocks, then you probably want a separate list from somebody that trades um, those high price stocks. Again, if you're somebody that's in the middle, then you probably want a separate list. So, but um, the top gapper, on Weibo doesn't really break it down for you. It just gives you a list. It could be penny stocks, it could be stocks that $200 or stocks that are $50. But how do you now bring it down so that you have, um, if you're a penny stock trader, you have a list that specifically gives you stocks that fall within that group. Um, again, on the Weibo platform, that's very simple. So we can jump right in. I'm gonna show you guys here. So if you are on the Weibo platform, basically what you wanna do is you go under um, screeners here. Um, once you get on the screeners, this is where you can definitely decide uh, what you want to trade or how you want to customize the screen to give you specific stocks that meet your personal uh, criteria because this is not a one size fit all. So um, the first thing, if you switch here to my screeners, you can see here uh, that they have, so you have high dividend yield bank stocks, high market value US stocks. So those are just uh, sample screeners that you can get. But now if we go back here for you to create your own personal screener. So the first thing you wanna do is, so again, I'm trading US stocks where you can do uh, uh, Chinese mainland or you can do Canada. So you have that option. So I'm doing US um, exchange. I don't really care about the exchange. So I'm doing all exchanges and then sector, I'm not specific. Um, so I'm doing all sectors because I don't really care uh, in this particular case. Um, and then now is, hey, the first thing we talk about the market cap, like how big of a company are we looking at? So you can see in billions of dollars. So I can actually um, reduce this down to say 0 0.1 um, to say 1 billion. Again, this is this is for people that are looking for smaller size companies and cheaper stocks. So I do 0 0.1 um, to 1 billion. Again, guys, this is not standard. You can actually tweak this to your liking. Tweak it to meet your own specific need. Even after doing this, you can have you have to go back and move things around so that it fits your your specific need. And then right here, if we if we look at this, so this is 0.1 to uh, 1 billion. So we have that. And then now the next thing that I want us to do is I want us to add some more indicators so that way. So if we go here for indicators, so we can you can see here um, you can do either dividends or debt to asset ratio and all that. We don't want that for this particular one. So uh, we can go here. You have um, the options to add price. Uh, you want to add percentage change. You want to add volume. Those are the key ones that I really care about. Um, for me personally, so I care about those. So I'll put those in, in, in there. So now for price, what, what am I looking for? So I'm looking um, somewhere between, I'll say $1 and say $50. Just again, this is just hypothetical guys. You can move this um, to fit your own specific need. And then let's say the percentage change. What am I looking for? I'm looking anything over 5% um, to let's say 100%. So if you move from five to 100, I wanna capture that particular one. And then 
uh, what else do we have? So volume, um, and this one is huge. Um, so uh, in this case, I can say I want something like 10, uh, let's see, 10,000 to about, I'll say 250,000. So we can do that. And then that would bring up uh, the volume here for you. And then um, I think at this particular point, uh, all these other indicators, if you don't want them, so financial indicators like this, um, um, EPS, if you don't really care about it, all you can do is go here and then remove EPS. So that way it doesn't show up on there. And that's about it. So to me, those are the key ones that I really care about. And then you can see here, it shows you the list of the stocks that are gonna, that are gonna fall into that criteria that you just selected. Again, guys, you can fine tune this to your liking. Once you're done, you give it a name here. So in this case, I let's just we can we can we can name this one penny stocks. Again, this is not penny stocks. Just give me a second. This is an example. So uh, we can call this penny stocks. So you save that. Now that's saved. So if you go under my screen right now, you should be able to see your penny stock that shows up and it gives you six stocks. Repeat the process for say stocks between 10 and $20. Repeat the process for between 20 and $30, and 30 and $50. Repeat that process so you can fill up the list here. And then uh, once it's time for you to trade uh, the particular stock, you can just grab this particular um, ticket symbol here and then add it to your watch list. Uh, and even here, you can create a watch list right off of there. So you can create a watch list with this and that would kind of give you um, a watch list so that when you go to trade, it's right there ready for you to trade. So again, this is how you create your own personal screener um, to trade stocks. So do some tweaking. This is not, again, it's not a one size fit all. Do some tweaking, see what works for you, um, see what meets your specific need, and then that way you can tweak it, um, move things around and see what's included, what's not included. Is your, is your, is your market cap too big? reduce the market cap. If your price is too big, reduce the price. If your percentage change too small or too big, you reduce that, just like that. If the volume too small, increase the volume and see what happens. So let's say for instance, if we add another zero right there for the volume, uh, what do we get? Um, not a whole lot, but you can see that it did make some change here. So those, that's how you can start tweaking and making sure that um, you're doing things the right way and until you get a list that is consistent where you can come in in the morning and meet your criteria and then you know that these are the stocks that you can trade. Um, again, you save that list and it's there forever. So that's one of the things that I like um, about the Weibo platform that you're able to create your own personal um, scanner like this or screener that you can create stocks that you want to trade. Again, it would show up here under the list. So create as many lists as you want and when you come in the morning, you look at each list and then you can say, hey, today I'm trading penny stocks. You can trade that. Or if you're just somebody that trades penny stocks, so you come in, it's there ready for you to go. Uh, you just look at your list and then see which ones make the most sense. In addition to that, um, the, the other thing that I would add to this again, guys, if you are doing this, um, one key thing is make sure after you see the stuff on the, the stocks on that list, go out and do some research see if there's any news about that particular stock. That way you don't just blindly buy uh, the stock and then just to watch it flush. If you didn't know that there was some news about it, it could be some bad news. Cause sometimes bad news will push the price of the stock up a little bit and then flush. So you want to be aware. And if this is so excellent news, if the news is so great, maybe you want to get in early because as soon as the market opens, that stock is probably going to gap even higher. So that way you are covered. Always make sure that you do some research. So that's how you go about creating your own personal um, screener on the Weibo platform. Again, guys, this is just an example, just showing you guys the way I do it. Um, you can definitely go out and create your own and make sure that it fits your personal criteria for trading. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Was this helpful? Should I do more videos like this? If yes, again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks 
uh, even free crypto um, at no cost to you. Again, links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be greedy, savage. Stay motivated. Uh -huh.